Welcome to the second musical meditation on the Mondays of Lent here at Augsburg Lutheran Church. My name is Cantor Timothy Olson, and today we are going to be looking at a setting of a hymn, What Wondrous Love Is This? We don't know a lot about the, the origin of the text or the tune, but we do know that it was first published in an American hymnal called Southern Harmony in 1835 in an appendix. This hymnal was in a tradition called the Shape Note Hymn Singing Tradition, and in this tradition each of the note heads of the music notation had different shapes to them to notate and to quickly be able to visualize what the solfege syllable was or the, or the pitch was. So the different syllables of the scale, do, re, mi, fa, sol, etc., had all different shapes to them. And so it was easily recognizable while looking at the music in order to sing this. And this type of uh, shape note singing was common in 19th century America and well in, even into the 20th century, in, particularly in rural southern areas, uh, particularly in small uh, single room churches, uh, places that had singing schools that would learn to sing this type of, of hymn. What Wondrous Love Is This is the text of which can be found in our hymnal uh, ELW 666. We have four verses in our hymnal uh, selected from the original six or possibly seven verses from the 1835 version. The four-part version of this hymn, compared to the original three-part version in the shape note tradition, where the melody was usually in the middle voice, in the tenor voice, with a, a, a contrary me melody above and below, the four-part version that we find in our hymnal, where the melody is in the top voice, was written by Paul J. Chris Johnson, who is the son of F. Melius Chris Johnson, who founded the St. Olaf Choir at St. Olaf College in Minnesota. Paul J. Chris Johnson went on to be the choir director at Concordia College, my alma mater, uh, and was there for, from 1937 to 1986, before he was followed by another well-known choral conductor, Rene Clausen. Today, we will hear an arrangement of this hymn for mezzo-soprano, and organ. We are fortunate to have Lauren Stair, a recent new uh, member of Augsburg, here to sing this arrangement for us today. And as we were talking about the, this hymn in, in particular, she mentioned how in the shape note tradition, these were often sung in these very small single room churches and how today right now during this pandemic it's as if we are all in our own little single room churches at home isolated so as we look through the text of this hymn though it's not a lent hymn per se it's not in the lent section anyway we see very pertinent text in this hymn what wondrous love is this O oh my soul that caused the lord of bliss to bear the dreadful curse for my soul. And the final, uh, the final stanza, and when from death I'm free, I'll sing on. I'll sing God's love for me, and through eternity, I'll sing on, I'll sing on. So enjoy this arrangement of What Wondrous Love Is This, sung by Lauren Mezzo-Soprano. <laughs> 